Greetings, Eric Becker, naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher, formulator of the Candida Range of Products. Thanks for checking out my video. Today I've got a question from a lady in Kentucky, and she's asking me, Eric, what is molluscum? <clears throat> I think she means a molluscum contagiosum. So she wants to know about what it's, you know what causes it, the symptoms and things like that. So she's got a child with this skin condition. So now listen to that word, molluscum contagiosum. Sounds a little bit like some kind of Harry Potter expelliarmus. Expelliarmus. Remember Harry Potter when they came out with these crazy things? Um, levigiatum and all those kind of words, you know, lev levitate. And avis, like bird spell, stuff like that. So molluscum contagiosum is nothing to do with Harry Potter, but it sounds a little bit like that, you know. We come up with these crazy, stupid words in, in medicine. Instead, they could just call it uh, red skin condition, but they like to come up with this crazy stuff. I don't know why. So, molluscum is a common condition that affects mainly infants, and you're going to find it in kids generally under 10 years of age. Little red papules, almost looks like a donut on the skin. And you guys know what donuts look like? I saw plenty in America, these round things with a hole in the top. So imagine lots of small little red donuts that sit on the skin. They can have a whitish kind of core, <clears throat> so they can spread very, very easily. The causes of them, it's really unknown, but I would say it's got to do with a slightly suppressed immune function. So stress, poor diet, um, overcrowded conditions, uh, you know, lack of sanitary or lack of washing. It, uh, this, it's a viral skin condition and it favors areas a little bit like yeast, like the groin, the armpits, uh, you know, around the neck and the ear folds. And, but you can have it anywhere on the skin. It can get itchy and irritating for kids at times. It's generally pretty harmless, and like a wart, it's not really going to do much. So warts are viral. Molluscum contagiosum is viral as well. The big issue with molluscum is when it gets scratched, because that can cause a secondary bacterial skin infection, and that can be a little bit more, more of a concern. We also more commonly see molluscum in kids with uh, eczema or eczema. It tends to be more common in those kids. Homeopathically, I'll write down what I've found works quite well, and then I'm going to explain a few more other conditions, uh, other you know, treatments for it. So this is ant crud. You see that? Ant crud. So antimonium crudum. So it's a type of a homeopathic preparation. And if you've got a young child with, uh, with this, ant crud 6 um, often works quite well. So you can just go to a homeopathic pharmacy and ask for ant crud 6. And you would just put one or two granules in the baby's or the child's drinking water each day. That's going to help quite a lot. It's a little bit like a yeast infection. You've got to keep the skin clean and dry, you know, regular washing, uh, you know, with a natural kind of a preparation uh, to keep the skin really well, you know, clean and dry. And the other thing is I found sunlight can sometimes really help quite a lot too, a little bit like psoriasis. Be careful if you've got more than one child because this condition can spread because it's called Contagiosum. Okay, so what does that word mean? It sounds a little bit like contagious, doesn't it? So if you've got one child rubbing up against another child or putting two kids in the bath at the same time, that's going to be a problem. All right. So that's what you've got to look out for. Generally, it's self-limiting. It's going to last you know, anything up to two or three months and it's gone. In extremely rare cases, it could last up to 18 months or two years. You could get a little bit of, you know, those donuts you could still see. <clears throat> but Generally, it's not really a problem, um, this condition. I've treated it many times uh, in the clinic, sometimes with a little bit of uh, tea tree oil in uh, a tiny little bit of sunflower oil, for example, or jojoba, jojoba oil, uh, or different carrier oils. You can just smear a bit of that on the skin. That's often going to help quite a bit too. So try those suggestions out, but don't panic. Molluscum tagiosum is not some Harry Potter spell. It's not going to create you know, really bad problems. It's usually self-limiting. Thanks for tuning in.